E aí pessoal, beleza? Bom, hoje estou aqui para mais um vídeo da série de Genshin Impact. Vamos continuar, né? Se você quiser ver essa série desde o início, eu vou deixar um card aqui em cima. E cala a boca. E se puder, se inscrever no canal e ativar o sininho. Ajude mais, beleza? Bom, vamos aqui pegar o prêmio da missão diária. Tá aí. Vamos coletar. Certo. E... Ninguém perguntou, Bennett. Ah, outra brincadeira. É o seguinte. Hoje nós vamos iniciar a missão lendária. Né? Isso aqui é qual, meu? Isso aqui é de economia, é verdade. Tá? Essa aqui eu não consegui achar a pedra, né, mano? Bom, talvez a gente encontre no futuro. Faltou uma pedra. Tem que coletar três. E eu tenho duas pedras. Duas. Bom, hoje nós vamos iniciar a missão lendária de personagem. Essa daqui, ó, da Ilan. Vamos lá. Aposta calculada, seleção dos Xin. Deu uma volta pelo porto de Liui. Enquanto vagava por Liui, por acaso, você encontrou um rosto familiar. Deve ser ela já, né? A Ilan, que a gente fez missão junto com ela há pouquíssimo tempo, né? Aí, depois que a gente fez a missão, deu para desbloquear a missão lendária dela. Então, a gente vai e faz... Vamos lá. Eita. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. E aí, mulher? Você não me é estranha, mulher? Oh, hey, Hoshin. Long time and fancy meeting you here. How's work these days? Thanks to the help of people like you and colleagues like Ganyu, better all the time. But I've been feeling distracted at work lately. Aconteceu alguma coisa? It's a long story. But my father, he's thinking of stepping down. What's wrong with Uncle Tian? Nothing specifically. He's not unwell. He says he's just increasingly low on energy these days. Tá igual o Zongli. Se aposentou lá à toa. Verdade é essa. He's always said, old age comes for us all in the end. Still, I just can't help but. Hey, just tell Sir Zin. My father's currently on the second floor of Yangsheng Tea House. Why don't you come pay him? He seems very fond of you too. I'm sure chatting with you. Sure, let's go. Vamos lá falar com ele, Tom. Umbrabilis. Umbrabilis, na verdade. Segundo andar da casa de chá. Tá. Aqui atrás dá para subir? Bom. E aí, cara? Como é que você tá? Vai lá, mulher. Deixa comigo. I heard that you've been traveling all over the place recently. I would very much like to hear your adventure stories. Nós estamos preocupados com sua saúde. Tá tudo bem? Hoishin told you, didn't she? Don't worry. I'm quite all right. It's just the years gradually catch up. Sim. As I grow older, I'm Starting to find that with many things, though the mind is with, I am still very much in good standing as the Tianshu today. Nevertheless, I wish to. How difficult is it to transfer the Tianshu? Oh well, you see, the Tianshu, historically speaking, the Tianshu rarely appears in public. 
we stay behind the scenes. We also want to keep any prospective Tianshu candidates free from influence by outside forces. So, for these reasons, the incumbent Tianshu typically recommends their candidate of choice, and this is then approved by the other Qixing members. Então, ele tem que indicar o próximo. Correct. Unfortunately, due to my health, I won't be able to assess every candidate myself. Mas ele dá tempo, não? Not to despair, however, because I found someone exceptionally capable to act on my behalf as Eita. assessment officer. Oh? Ela vai ser a juíza, tá ligado? I'm heartbroken. I thought it might take you a little longer than this to forget all about me. Oh, ela não faz tanto tempo que nos vimos. Será que ela faz esse diálogo? Se eu demorasse para fazer essa missão, será que ela faria esse diálogo? Porque realmente a gente viu ela há pouco tempo, né? It's Jalan! <risos> Jackpot! Uncle Tian here asked me to assess three fancy joining me. You'll be among the first to get to know the next Tian. Hmm, what do you think? Pode ser. Paimon thinks so too. It can't be a bad thing to be on good. Alright then. Though, I gotta say, Uncle Tian, you say you're into behind the scenes planning? My works of the co- Huh? Yeon, you want to be the next- hmm, I'm not opposed to the idea, but I suspect Ningguang wouldn't let you go very easily Tem after isso também, né? So, how about this? If your investigation reveals that- Deal. We. Oui. Well, you guys take your time. Everything's all set for the assessments to go ahead. Pois ele não pode. Se ela quiser de verdade o cargo, ela vai falar que os três candidatos são muito ruins para ela ganhar o cargo. Né? Meet me on the first floor when you're ready. Until then, have a Oh, and no need to pay for your tea. As the new owner of this fine establishment, this runs on the house. O louco. Fala dela. Ouvi uma história aí do vô. You're all set. Really worn down. Yeah, it may sound harsh, but Uncle Tian is past his prime. He's not cut out, so he's recommended three candidates. Their names are Chen Wei, Ming Guo, and Zhu Yi. Certo. Chen Wei is a wealthy entrepreneur. Ming Guo works at the Liu Wei Ministry of Civil Affairs, and Zhu Yi is focused on study and travel. Beijing. Try to keep all that in mind. <laughs> of course. It doesn't really matter if you forget, since we'll be assessing them at your high. Tianwei, Mingbo, Yi. Paimon should be able. Let's leave that until we get to your high pavilion. All right, heads in the game, people. The stakes don't get much higher than a change in the Qixing. Got it. We'll keep our eyes wide open. Bom, não sei se ela vai pedir nossa opinião para avaliar os caras, então. Mas vamos junto com ela lá, né? Vai que ela pede nossa opinião. Vá para o pavilhão fazer a avaliação. Tá em cima? Tá. É só subir aqui. Olha pro teto aqui, vai que tem algum baú, né? Escondido. Pois isso que é importante. Né? Vamos ver. My legs are getting sore. What is wrong with this assessment officer? This is a huge occasion and I don't even get a chair. I've dealt with all kinds of people in my time, but never have I been made to stand while I'm waiting for an appointment. 
Brincadeira. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, that's called being complacent. If you're happy to just accept the way things are, you'll never be able to change anything in the future. Oh, come on. That's just... No. All right, you two. Let's not get into a big argument over this. Qianwei, that was a bit uncalled for. And Mingbo, cut him some slack. We've all been standing around for a while. It's natural to be getting... Look, how about this? There's no rule saying we're obliged to stand up while we wait, so... Fine. Uh, they're not the best quality chairs, to be sure. But under the circumstances... This guy, I don't like it. Vai perder. It looks like all three candidates have arrived. Então, aqueles três são. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them formally soon. Before that, let me run you through the assessment process. Fala aí. Split it into two stages: current affairs and planning, and face-to-face -face interview. In the first stage, candidates are required to submit a manifesto for Liu's development. In the second stage, we will ask them some questions in person. Writing a manifesto takes time. So I informed them of this requirement in advance. These are the reports they submitted. Wow, one of them is really thick. É dois ali parecido, né? It's also worth mentioning a stipulation I gave them. Whoever is appointed as the new Tianshu will be expected to implement their plan as put forward in their manifesto. Failing the occurrence of some cataclysmic event, they will not be permitted to change their plan. Therefore, these three piles of documents in front of us. There's still some time. Have a skim through. Get a first impression of what each person's proposing. I'll be waiting off to the side. Just let me know when you're done. Tá bom. Vejo o livro de planos do candidato. Vamos do que que é o O livro de planos ele fala de muitas ideias inovadoras sobre problemas de negócios. Planos e benefícios são inseparáveis. Este parece ser o ponto de vista de Kianwei. Tá. Esse cara aqui agora. Ele aborda detalhadamente os temas de assuntos internos, diplomacia e modo de supervisão. Parece que seu tema central é como resolver problemas. Ele apresenta modos de solução simples e claros para diversos tipos de problemas. Ah, isso é bom, né? Como ele é muito grosso, só foi possível dar uma olhada por cima. Mas solução de problemas é a melhor coisa que tem. É, contém todos os aspectos das políticas internas e da vida das pessoas. Na estrada da virtude, o mundo é uma comunidade coletiva. Essa parece ser a filosofia de Mingo. Mingbu. Cara, a solução de problema ganha, hein? Ó. Solucionar um problema importante. Ela vai pedir nossa opinião mesmo. Finished, huh? What did you think? Everyone took it very seriously. Of course they did. They have the chance to be picked as the new Tian. And keep in mind, whoever gets in has to execute their plan as written. Nobody wants to have any regrets. O que você acha? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. We can... We'll see the candidates now. Let's do one at a time. Start with Chen. Yes, ma'am. Chamo cara aí. Oh, so you two are the assessment officers, are you? E que que tem com isso? I had assumed that, given the great import of this situation, Lady Ningguang would perhaps be assessing us in person. I certainly hadn't imagined cara. seeing two entire. I trust you've read through my manifesto. I'd be more than happy to clarify any details you found difficult to grasp. It was written with an expert. Oh, chamo nós de burro. Mind your tone, mister. É. Relax. It wasn't intended as a personal slight against anyone in particular. I was simply stating a fact. Uh, você aprendeu elas com retentura de nuvem? Cloud retainer? You know this adeptus? Sim. Oh, yes, I remember now. You Eu must, sou. With your sterling reputation, you must have a respectable level of erudition. Perhaps you will be able to understand the concepts I have put forward. Yeah, although I shouldn't get my Olha, cara desse cara de brincadeira. Esse cara tá de brincadeira. Pediu para que ele fosse. Tá. Is it my turn? E aí, cara, você é o cara do resolução de problemas? Não, né? Please introduce yourself. I'm uh, 
Mingbo, I work in the problemas é o último lá. I've worked there for um nine years, five months, and three days. In that time, I have 12 active cases at the moment. They should be concluded in uh my current work is related to urban planning and I'm also responsible for uh auditing the accounts. To be more precise, there are three parts to the accounts, namely uh, is it just Pinon or is he See. not very You know what? Let's leave the self introduction there and move on to some quest. Oh okay. Tá, beleza, aí vem o cara da resolução de problemas. Cara. Hello. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm feeling. É normal, normal. What would you like to know? You're here to assess me, so ask away, and I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. Your manifesto is very wide in its scope, but you don't seem to be personally involved in many of the specific fields. How can you be sure that you have the ability to put your plan into action? Que pergunta cruel. Very fair question. I completely understand where you're coming from, but I'm confident in my plan. I visited many different places, talked to lots of people with far more expertise than myself. Of course, two different problems can be interconnected in very complicated ways, and you might reach two very contradictory conclusions depending on which one you're focusing on. What I've tried How do you plan to determine whether you are right or wrong about your proposed solution being the optimal one? A great question. Well, I'd start by having my colleagues and the secretaries of the UA High Pavilion evaluate any proposals before implementation. Post implementation, ah, it would all be so você, the você tem uma equipe, o que já ajuda, né? If it turned out that my judgment was to blame for poor results, I would Hmm. Nice answer. All right. Pichu. He seems like a great guy. Everything he said was thoughtful and logical and Here's my take on what we just learned. As you saw, Chen Wei is highly knowledgeable. He proposes many excellent ideas in his manifesto which affect but he is very proud and incredibly yeah. stubborn. He doesn't care much about other people's fe Ming Bo's plan is more thorough and more measured. You can tell that he and Chen Wei are otherwise polar opposites. Ming Bo is not very articulate and comes across as very timid in conversation. Perfect for me. couldn't agree more. Last but not least, Jur Yi. His manifesto is full of pertinent details. The depth he goes into in each and every area means it can only be a product of painstaking work. Plus, he is but what really interests me is that many of his views happen to coincide with Uncle Tian's. Having someone like Jur Yi take the position would certainly put Uncle Tian's mind at rest. Ué, isso, isso aí que é um verdadeiro, tá ligado? Então, para lá, para isso eu esqueci. Herdeiro. Herdeiro do cargo. É ele, então. Se ele é igual o cara lá, né? Great. We'll see. Mas isso aqui foi fácil. Não, foi muito fácil. Relate o resultado. Vamos lá. Melhor passar por aqui porque eu quero pegar as flores. Né? Dá pra evoluir personagem. Opa! Aqui foi o local daquela cerimônia, né? Teve uma missão que a gente tinha que fazer. preparar uma cerimônia, né? Aí ficamos vários e vários vídeos preparando a cerimônia. Para no final não ver a cerimônia, porque foi muito rápido. Que loucura, né? E aí, vou, tava ali na árvore. Já tá decidido, é o, é o amigão lá que é parecido com você. Entendeu? I see. Sim. All right. Then let me ask this. The ideas in Jury's manifesto are very similar to your Oh. I didn't want to say anything when I gave you the list of Ele é seu sobrinho. Those three candidates have oh. all studied under me in the past. It's only natural that they share ah, some. Ah, chega para gente dele. But Xin Wei went on to focus on his business. And Ming Bo has always been occupied with his work at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Oh, so how did you get to know them all, Uncle Tian? Chen Wei was referred to me by an old friend. 
Ming Wu came to my attention in the course of my work. As for the jury, we gradually as we got to know each other, we started discussing jury came from a poor family, and his parents died when he was very young. But he was a gifted student. He reminded me of a younger version of myself. So I started out giving him a few words of advice when we were out fishing and noticed how quickly he Parece mais com familiar, por isso eu falei sobre ele. Right. And now, all of a sudden, he's grown into a mature young man. The young are growing up and I am growing old. É a vida. I don't know, Uncle Tian. You still seem in pretty good shape to me. You might have another few years of work left in you, don't you think? Oh, you. <laughs> There's really no need to console me. Having less energy than I used to isn't a, such a bad thing. It just means I finally have a good é. reason to retire. Spend my days tá doing it. Well. Tá Sounds like you sure love fishing, Uncle. Ooh, there's nothing quite like fishing to pass the time. <laughs> Ooh, and freshly caught fish. Não fala nisso da boca Eu nem jantei. Jury purchased a very special rest when we've been fishing recently. Jury always brings some extra ingredients he prepared in advance. that flavor makes for a fond memory. But at my age, who knows how many more chances I have? Você poderá saborear muitas vezes ainda. Eu sabia que ele queria. Let's get back to the matter at hand, Uncle Tian. We've. Mm-hmm. I appointed you as the assessment. Had you not asked me why Jury's ideas were so similar to mine, I was not going to mention my history with any of them. This decision must be guided by what is fair and right. Please disregard all other considerations and make your Mas acho que já tá na cara quem vai ser. Remember, you must be thorough. Understood. Come on, let's go talk somewhere else. Bye bye, Uncle Tian. Bom, então. Bom, pra mim é o, é o cara lá, o terceiro lá. Exatamente. Mas. O cara recomendou que a gente. É. Como é que fala? Vá mais a fundo, sabe? Então, pesquisar sobre os três aí mais um pouco. His manifesto was written well, and he's the... Easy. Let's not rush. There's no time limit. Huh? So, are you gonna give the... No, nothing like that. The assessment itself is complete. But let me give you a word of advice. The biggest no-no in intelligence work is to only get information from the person of interest themselves. The truth is almost always hidden beneath many layers of dis... Thank For you. example... Wen Yuan, Shanghua. Yes? Lady Yelan, what are your orders? Ugh! Who are they? Where are they? Did they scare you? These two are Wen Yuan and Shanghua. As my trusted assistants, they are always standing guard nearby. They also perform various assignments. Shanghua is a business expert who gets his information by trading. Wen Yuan relies on word of mouth. And there's also Wu Pei, who's not here right now. Wu Pei? That meathead must have been out there on sea surveillance for some time now. Is he alright? I seem to remember that he can't swim. Is a problem, eh? <sighs> Nothing can take that guy down. Certainly not a little wind. Shanghua. Visit all the commerce guilds and look into Qianwei's background. Wen Yuan, go to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and look through Mingbo. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma um, so what about Jur Yi? É nós que vai investigar ele, né? Jur Yi. Well, obviously, as the most promising candidate. Let's go to the docks first. Lots of people passing through there. You can find. If we're looking for information, why don't we try talking to Bu Lai, the owner of Wan Yu Boutique? He does business at the North Wharf. Maybe he has some news for us. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. Bolai não é aquele cara lá que não pagava imposto. Eu não sei se ele não. 
Eu já teve algumas missões com ele já, hein? Esse nome não me é estranho. É, o cara lá de baixo, lá, ó. É ele mesmo. Ah, ele tá aqui. É, ele tá lá embaixo. Your asking price for this batch is just too high. I can't buy in at this price. How am I supposed to turn a profit? Come on, hear me out. I'm telling you, this is the single best batch of Sunset is ever. I accidentally dropped one into a well, and even the water turned sweet. Even so. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll let you in on a little secret. The boss of Second Life also wants to buy from me, but I haven't responded yet. Cada um joga com o que tem, né? If you won't take him, I'll just have to partner with them instead. And neither of us. Estratégia. Okay. Well, when you put it that way, I'll ex. O comerciante que estava negociando com o Bolai saiu. Calma, cara. And to be clear, these sunsetias are mine. I got to them first. Cara, tem um monte da mochila. É verdade. Não estou mentindo. Eu queria te perguntar sobre um cara chamado Juri. Juri? Sim, ele é muito... Eu ouvi uma história sobre ele. Eles dizem que ele foi criado em pobreza. Seus pais morreram quando ele era jovem. E ele foi tratado cruelmente pela comunidade local. Um dos seus amigos foi muito rude a ele todo o tempo. Mas Juri nunca se retaliou. E quando ele se retaliou, And when his neighbor went bankrupt, he returned cruelty with kindness, ah, oh, injustice with peace offerings. A gentleman of talent and character, and uh, oh, how did I not notice him sooner? In fact, oh, he sounds like a decent man. É, por enquanto. Por enquanto tá de boa. Anyway, uh, you aren't uh, looking for a brand ambassador too, are you? Calma, cara. Isso cara é brincadeira, well, viu? Then, In that case, the higher bidder takes. Vai lá então, vai lá. Where? Where? It's him, all right. Looks like he's chatting with Lin Long. Come on, let's follow them and try not to let him see you. We want this information to be as true. I'll just go and fetch an employment contract. And hey, don't try and cut me out. Pela boca, cara. Tem que. I understand. Let's walk and talk. So, you were looking to buy your Oi. wineware set? Oh, now I can see that you're a connoisseur, so I won't bother trying to con you. I trust you understand our shop quite well? Eu não tô conseguindo ler o que estou falando, não, galera, que eu tô concentrado. The truth is, an old friend of mine who likes to have a drink now and then. He fancies himself as a man of culture. But doesn't care for needless extravagance, so I thought I might buy him a set of false fakes. How very thoughtful of you! Leave it to me then. Come and collect it at Shigo Antiques whenever is convenient. Thank you very much, Miss Lin Long. It's my pleasure, Mr. Jerry. These days, it's quite rare for someone of your standing to still be up with your friends. I couldn't read the first phrase. I'll be sure to pick out a good set for you. You can count on me. He said something about a fake product, but I don't know. Hey, what's going on? Hmm. Jerry seems to get along really well with everyone. Are you satisfied now, Yuan? Seems like everyone thinks Jerry is a great. We shouldn't jump to conclusions just yet. Let's go check out the wharf where he. Do we have to? Wait, you're not just trying to dig up some dirt on Juri because you want to be Tianchu yourself, are you? Eu até te esqueci do dia. Boa pai, mo. É verdade. Eu esqueci que se os três forem ruins, é ela que vai ganhar o cargo. Olha aí, pai, mo. É verdade, pai. É verdade. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But hey, if I do become tea, I should be able to try all the finest food for free. E ganhou a pai, mo. O pai, ela, ela nunca mais vai citar isso na vida dela. É. Nunca mais irá desconfiar disso.
Vai investigar o cais. Bom, vou pegar o posto de teleporte bem mais rápido. A Paimon já não vai mais incomodar ela, né? Vamos ver. The wharf is as busy as ever. I hear the anglers here sometimes sell their fish to the nearby fishmongers. Chusun. Nossa, o tamanho do peixe. E aí, Chusun? What would you like to buy today? Estamos aqui para perguntar sobre uma pessoa. Viemos comprar informações. Sorry to interrupt. We're actually members of the uh, Liyue Anglers Association, and we just wanted to ask a few questions about someone. Sociedade dos Amigos da Pesca. We've heard about this young man called Jur Yi, who's supposed to be a fantastic fisherman. Just wondering if you. Whoa! Yeon made up a whole fake identity. Impressionante para essa Paimon. Ah, yes, Jur Yi. He's been making quite a name for himself recently. I've got some friends who travel all over the place, and they tell me everywhere they go they meet someone who's heard of him. Hmm, apparently, he had a rather tough time growing up. Had to work several jobs alongside his studies to make... How does that saying go? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, if there's anything to that logic... Yeah, we think so too! É, por enquanto nenhuma suspeita. But I'm afraid your anglers association might be in for a disappointment. Oh? Why is that? He is good at a lot of things, but fishing isn't one of them. He fishes at the wharf and sells what he catches to me on occasion. Tá. His catches are always mediocre. Not terrible, but equally nothing to write home about. If you're looking to recruit some new members, though, I do know a few top Tenji. people. That sounds fantastic. I've got a couple of other things to attend to right now, though. So, why don't I come back some other time and we can chat? Sure thing. See you. Everywhere they go, they meet someone who's heard of him. Hmm. Come on, let's keep asking around. É bem famoso ele, né? Bem famoso. A face. Que as pessoas conhecem, continuo procurando por pistas. Procurando por pistas é tipo falar com pessoas ou pistas no chão mesmo. E ele sugere investigar o cais. Bom, vou falar com o pessoal aqui. Dessa vez eu gostaria que você lesse minha sorte sobre minha vida amorosa. De novo? Essa deve ser a décima vez esse mês. Um louco. Só continuo ouvindo porque suas previsões são muito precisas. Especialmente aquela coisa que você continua me dizendo. Estar preocupado com o resultado de uma adivinhação não é o propício para encontrar o amor verdadeiro. Por isso que agora meu foco será apenas na adivinhação em si, não o resultado. Deixe-me explicar isso de outro jeito. O verdadeiro amor pode estar impossivelmente distante ou pode estar bem debaixo do seu nariz. Você não pode forçá-lo, mas quando chegar o dia ele se revelará diante de seus olhos. Quem sabe, talvez hoje seja o dia. Bom, entendi. O que você presume ter entendido? Você sente o mesmo. A partir desse dia, eu viverei unicamente para lhe trazer felicidade. Olha só. Ô oh, louco, oh, rapaz. Centroavante bruto. Não. Você está livre essa noite? Não. E agora estou chamando os guardas. <risos> ai, ai. Ah, é aqui? 
Léo Gago. Léo Gago jogou bola, hein? Trezentas mora? Três por mil mora. É errado isso aí, cara. Três por mil? Como assim? Melhor, eu prefiro três por novecentos, que é o preço. Um por um é trezentos. O que esse cara tá falando aí? Tá achando que nós é burro? Tá de brincadeira? <risos> nós, nós fazemos parte de várias sociedades, tá bom? Fez sim, tá errado esse preço aí. Don't worry. We're just here to conduct a simp. We've heard about a certain jury who's been selling fresh fish at low prices in this area recently. So this isn't about me. You should have said something, you know. I know the guy. I can tell you what I know. Oh, cara, o cara tá fazendo coisa errada. I haven't heard anything about him selling fresh fish at low prices, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was him. Oh? Why is that? Because he's so poor. His parents died when he was a very young, and his alcoholic father still owed a huge amount of debt. No one wanted anything to do with him. Novas informações. He was still a kid when he first came to the wharf. His clothes were ragged, and he had a bandage wrapped around his head, and he managed to survive thanks to Uncle Tien, who gave him some food. But still, to this day, I mean, he can afford to eat and everything, but. You'll often see him haggling with others over just a few more. It's not like he catches much anyway, so it's not going to affect my business. Uh, uh, don't, don't tell him I said that. You'd rather he didn't know? Well, I spoke to him once briefly, and I just had a feeling that he really cares what other people think of him. I think he has pretty low self-esteem, but hey, it's hardly my place to say anything. What he's achieved already puts most and nobody's perfect. I just wouldn't want to upset him. That's all. I see. Well, not a problem. And just for the record, there's absolutely <laughs> nothing wrong with the price of my fish. God, it's guess so. The more times you say it, the less confusing yeah. it becomes. Hmm. Doesn't have a lot of mora to his name. Vamos lá. E é o menino ali? Dugo. Oh yeah. Honored to meet you. Você também, cara. What brings you to me? The truth is, we are but newcomers to this territory. We heard tell of a great martial artist, Master Dugu, who knows everything there is to know. Really? People said I know everything, but of course. We also heard that Master Dugu is a kind and virtuous swordsman who never turns away anyone who... Great! Uh -uh. So what do you wish to know? Nothing happens on this street that Dizem I don't know about. Uh, now she's lying to a kid. De qualquer forma, ele parece bem feliz. É. Vamos supor que foi uma mentira bondosa. So, Master Dugu, have you heard of... Sure have! You mean that guy that all the grown-ups are talking about these days? I've heard many tales of jury. For example, Ué. probably because it's nothing that important. I prefer stories about sword fighting hero. Oh, I can completely understand that. Then, oh yeah, I know that. It was about before that. People always used to talk about jury in a kind of nasty tone of voice. But two or three months ago, suddenly, sometimes he gives me candies. So I'm glad that people are starting to like him now. Just as I thought. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, just as I thought, Master Dugu is... <laughs> I'm not that great. Oh, yeah. One other thing. These days, there's a lot of people I've never seen before talking about jury stories in the street. They seem like... Oh, definitely. Great. So next time I see them, I'll say hi. And I guess I can... Certainly. You can also tell my friend in Yenshang Tea House about what they're up to. I'm sure my friend would also like to... Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Well then, until we meet again. Falou. Any of that sounds strange to you? Estou confuso. Hey. Uncle Soon and Uncle Gas spoke highly of him, and 
É, só que do nada eu comecei a falar bem dele, né? True. But the issue is, where did his come from? Too good to be true? So he returns cruelty with kindness and had to work to support his studies. These are the kinds of things that make someone well known in their hometown. But Uncle Soon said even his friends who travel far and wide hear about him wherever they go. That's a little over the top if you ask. Do you remember what Dugu Shuo said about Jur E's stories? Clearly they left him with a good impression of the guy. But beyond that, he wasn't interested in the details. That's the reason. Plus, there's the fact that all this praise of Jur E has only been happening within the his childhood, his studies, the thing with his neighbor. None of these are recent events. So why are these stories only going around now? Será que é um plano dele? O que ele ia já se candidatar aí para ser o sucessor do velhinho lá, tá ligado? Ele já tá preparando o terreno. Pode Of course, if that's all there was to it, I wouldn't look into it any further. Jur E was born into a poor family. Paying people to get his stories out there is within the rules of the game. The problem is, do you remember what Uncle Gao said about him? He's stayed poor his whole life. Everything he's earned, he's either spent on studying, traveling, or paying off debts. I don't think he has the mora to pay for a publicity Talvez campaign. Talvez ele esteja trabalhando com alguém. Right. And that changes everything. It can mean a powerful faction is trying to gain in... That's the worst case scenario. But all too often, the most pessimistic speculation turns out to be... Someone's trying to gain influence over the Qixing? Even if we ask Juri about it, surely there's no way he'd admit it! First, we need to find out who's supporting him. Don't worry, I've got... Remember the current affairs and planning stage of the assessment? Since the successful candidate is duty-bound to implement their plan after taking office, their manifesto tells us their stance on key issues. Whoever is secretly helping Jur E must be seeking to benefit from his actions after his appointment. So, we should be able to find some hints in Jur E's manifesto não vai, on who we're dealing with. Não vai ele à toa, né? Come on, let's get back to Yen. Vamos ver. Volte à casa de chá para investigar o livro de planos. Se tiver alguém por trás, vai querer algum benefício quando o cara lá foi eleito, né? Se ele ganhar. Esse cara rindo aqui, gente. Eles estão rindo aí. Jur E's manifesto covers a huge range of topics. Looking for details that don't add up will be like I'll divide the reports into two piles. You take one, I'll take the other. Officially, the assessment is already over, and I'll be expected to announce the results before long. Yikes! We better hurry! Whatever else Uncle Tian might think of Jur E, the fact remains that he's one of his favorite students. See? Any evidence he's left is not going to be immediately obvious. We'll have to look. Então vamos lá, eu leio o livro de planos. Vamos ler o livro de planos. Oh, even though Yelan took half, well, we gotta. Vamos lá, ler o capítulo Mar. Vamos ler. Devido a vários fatores, as tempestades marítimas nos últimos anos se intensificaram. Recomendo a criação de uma patrulha especial para lidar com monstros marinhos. A configuração da frota seria... Descreve concisamente sobre vários assuntos relacionados à defesa costeira. É, normal, que não vi nada de diferente não. Capítulo Rocha. Muitas lendas dizem que Rex Lapis deixou muitas riquezas nas montanhas de Liwi. Mas como as escavações do espenhadeiro foram suspensas... Muitos projetos foram interrompidos. Não, cara, mas eu já resolvi o problema do despenhadeiro. Pode ficar tranquilo que já tem, inclusive, pessoas escavando lá, né? 
Os mineradores da Foz do Penhasco estão ociosos da Casa Dourada há bastante tempo. Eles devem ser os primeiros mobilizados no caso de novos projetos. Oh. Os mineradores da Forja do Penhasco. Ele está dando... Não sei se é isso não, mas... O cara está dando prioridade, o, o Zi, Ziwi, Ziwi, né? Está dando prioridade a esse pessoal aqui, os mineradores da Forja do Penhasco. Será que é eles que estão ajudando ele? Aí se ele ganhar, ele dá isso aqui para eles? Não sei não. Abertura de tudo, exploração... Enfim, vamos ver. Livro capítulo Estradas. Muitos lugares, como a Floresta da Pedra, o Aguang e o Pico de Kingyun, estão localizados sobre montanhas íngremes inconvenientes para transporte. Os picos são conectados apenas por pontes. Eu estou ligado nesse lugar. Apresentando riscos aos transeuntes e uma dificuldade ainda maior para o transporte de produtos. Entretanto, esses lugares são ricos em ingredientes medicinais e minérios. Se uma estrada puder ser feita, melhoraria a vida de todos. Olha, a única coisa suspeita é o segundo ali que eu vi, porque ele está dando prioridade a uns mineradores lá. Acho que não deveria fazer isso, né? Não sei se é isso não, vamos ver. E aí, cara, que deu? You betcha. I visited all the commerce guilds and gathered a wealth of information. Every time they asked me to leave. Don't drag this out. Just tell us. Yes, Lady Elon. To summarize my findings, most people who've had interactions with Qianwei will start out complaining about how proud and arrogant he is. The young master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild said that Qianwei appears arrogant, but he's very scrupulous in the way he works. Once he signs a contract with somebody, he treats them fairly regardless of their background. Isso é bom. Is it possible that his reputation is fake? Is there any way you can check the accounts of the business? In theory, that should be very difficult. But here's the thing: I asked around and found out that almost where he buys from and sells to should be confidential business information, but he doesn't seem interested in protecting it at all. Chen Wei often sees business opportunities that others don't, but once he's made enough mora off of it, it's like he gets sick of it and releases all of his trade secrets. It's uh. like he wants people to know that they still can't beat him, even if he shares all of his secrets. The fact that someone like that can still make mora is pretty infuriating. What a strange guy. It's like he's not doing business to make... To validate his theories. No wonder his manifesto contains so many insights. It's all the result of his first-hand experimentation. I'm back! Huh? Why do you think? Obviously, because I possess superior skills, and am always one step ahead of the comp- You- Ugh, Whatever! I'm not getting into an argument with you. If I hadn't had something else to take care of on the way- Lady Yelan, I have finished investigating Mingbua. Well, we're all here. The Ministry of Civil Affairs says that Mingbua struggles to get his words out when he gets nervous. Especially Certo. Especially after a few days of getting to know him, you can pretty much have a normal conversation with him. On the whole, the feedback from the Ministry of Civil Affairs was very positive. He In your opinion, was the Ministry of Civil Affairs appraisal of... I don't believe so. Mingbo is someone who has slowly but sure... According to Miss Yu, the Ministry often gets Mingbo to take a final look at projects before they're implemented. People feel much more confident in something if it has his stamp Cara, of importante. And also, there was once someone in the Ministry who was lying and cheating to try to advance their career. Mingbo gave them the scolding of a lifetime. Apparently, he Whoa. That's hard. Like I said, before, things are not always as they are. Ah, so that's what Thank you both. You're free to go now. So, have you finished reading the manifesto? Sim. Vocês terminaram de ler o livro? Hmm. I can't see any immediate problems. 
The only one that strikes me as a little unusual is the Chengshu Pool Redevelopment Plan. The Chengshu Pool has always been home to many secrets. Plus, Ejdaha once wrought havoc there, so there are even more secrets buried deep underground. At some point, a rumor began to go around that there is great treasure buried beneath Chengshu Pool. A long time ago, with the approval of the Qixing, a mining team conducted an exploratory excavation. So, did they find any treasure? None. The ruin was completely impenetrable. The only way they could have gotten through the solid rock would have been by blowing it open with us. The technology wasn't mature enough at that time, so the excavation project was shut down and the treasure became a major ease manifesto focuses on solving problems. And this treasure hunt seems extremely risky. It seems out of step with the rest of his plans. Still, this one fact alone doesn't tell us much. Everyone wants to get their hands on this treasure. The treasure hoarders, the Fatui, even local Liyue factions. Os mineradores não querem, não? Excavation, project, treasure? O capítulo rocha. Oh, yeah! Juri said the Blackcliff Forge workers should get right a first refusal if any suitable projects come up. Não pode ter prioridade, não pode. Cara, o que tem que eu pensar? Como é que dá prioridade para o grupo? Já, já saquei esses trabalhadores da forja querem investigar a piscina lá de que ela falou aí que tá cheio de tesouro. Já, não, não. O pai, mano, é assim. Did he now? Well, that makes é. everything much clearer. So Juri wants to be a lot Does that mean the Blackcliff Forge is Juri's secret supporter? No. Not likely. I've looked into the Blackcliff Forge before. They aren't involved with any powerful factions that they do possess some specialized explosives. But it would seem more trouble than it's worth to put so many re still. Since the clues are pointing toward the Blackcliff Forge, we should see where they lead. Shenway and Mingbo both turned out to be completely different than what we thought. What about Juri? Is there another side to him too? Então, o que acontece? O boato sobre o quão bom é esse cara aí, que começou há três meses atrás, foram esses mineradores que vieram e espalharam esses boatos do nada. Que aí sabe que se ele ganhar, eles vão ter espaço livre para explorar a piscina. Não pode ter prioridade. Achei estranho ele ter colocado prioridade lá. Mas é isso, beleza? Próximo vídeo. A gente segue, tá bom? É, é isso. Investigue a forja do penhasco obscuro que fica aqui, ó. Bom, é isso. É, tem conquista aqui pra eu pegar, quer ver? Missão diária que eu fiz hoje, ó. Seleciona o jato de maior valor, primeira tentativa na missão diária, né? E é isso. Bom, é, espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se puder. Deixar o like, muito obrigado e até o próximo vídeo.